every domain you find, ultimate human performance has the exact same signature. It is a state of consciousness known to researchers as flow. Now, you may know flow by other names, right? You may call it runner's high or being in the zone. If you happen to play basketball, you might call it being unconscious. If you're a beatnik jazz musician, you're being in the pocket. If you do stand-up comedy, you're in the forever box. Flow is a technical term defined as an optimal state of consciousness, one where we feel our best and we perform our best. More specifically, it refers to those moments of rapt attention and total absorption. We get so focused on the task at hand, everything else just disappears. Action and awareness will start to merge. Your sense of self will vanish. Time will dilate, which is a fancy way of saying it passes strangely. So sometimes, occasionally, it'll s slow down and you get that freeze frame effect from anybody who's been in a car crash. And more frequently, it speeds up and five hours go by in like five minutes. And throughout, all aspects of performance, both mental and physical, go through the roof. Pretty much every gold medal or world championship that's ever been won, there's a flow state at its heart. We know that flow in the arts, in technology, in science, accounts for significant progress, major paradigm shifts, usually a flow state at the heart. People who score off the charts, highest in the world for overall life satisfaction and well-being, are the people with the most flow in their lives. So ultimate performance, aka flow, must be the full brain on overdrive, right? Turns out we actually had it exactly backwards. In flow, we're not using more of the brain, we're actually using less of the brain. It's actually an efficiency exchange. The brain is trading energy it needs for attention and it's shutting down non-critical structures. What we have discovered is that flow states have triggers. These are preconditions that lead to more flow. There are 20 of them in total, but the first thing you need to know is the most obvious. Flow follows focus. It can only show up when all of our attention is focused in the right here, the right now. For example, the first of the individual triggers, passion. We hear a lot about passion these days. It's one of these great buzzwords, very mystical. The only reason passion matters, why passion matters, is we pay more attention to those things we believe in. It drives flow, and flow drives performance. Risk. Why did action and adventure sport athletes experience such a spike in the 1990s? Because risk levels in action and adventure sports started going through the roof. And risk drives focus, drives flow. What kinds of impossible grand challenges would you guys go after? Would you solve in your own life? Would you try to solve in the world? If you could be 500% more productive, if you could be 600% more creative, if you could cut learning times in half, this is exactly what is available to each and every one of you. But what you choose to do this information is entirely up to you.